All right. So, right. Um, so and so sit in a tree. K S S I N G. First comes love, then comes marriage, and then comes the baby in the baby carriage. <laughs> okay. So we are still in um, that fifth stage, right, of early adulthood, where we're asking. Who do I want to spend my life with? Do I want to spend my life with a, with a permanent person, right? And that can include a permanent life partner as well as do I want to have children, okay? When we look at um, social things, right, this is a huge shift, right? And it can even go back and influence stage four of adolescence of that question, who am I, Right. Because everything changes, your identity changes, right? Your level of responsibility changes. Um, and again, not for everybody, but I will tell you, right? For me, until the point in which I had a child and I am like, holy moly, I am like, I'm responsible for this human. Like, I'm responsible for their life and making sure they live and all of these different things, right? I would have to say it wasn't until that point that I actually felt like a grown up, despite the fact that I had a career. And I had a mortgage on a house and I owned my own car and I set my own budget and I did all of these very grown up things. For me, it wasn't until this point that I felt like a grown up. Okay. With this, it can bring joy and it can bring marital struggles. It can bring struggles with other friends that you've had for a long time because your time demands have shifted or changed, right? You trying to balance personal needs and outside social needs right? There's a little bit of a shift there. Um, and again, for me, and I believe for many people, right? Having children and being a parent brings more joy and more love and more happiness than anything in my life has ever brought me. But it also brings me more anxiety, more sadness, and more stress. Totally worth all those negative things right? Um, but it is a shift and it is a balancing act. Um, and it's a, it's a difficult one, right? That is a process and, and in progress, much like everything else that we talk about, um, in the, the development from birth to death of a human being. <laughs> okay. Um, so with that, right, again, a little bit of data, because as you know, Harding loves data, right? We had seen, and again, this is coming from the Pew Research Center, right? We had seen a decline in people choosing to be parents, and we had seen a decline in the number of children um, that people had been having. Um, but in the United States, we have, and this is kind of a little bit on the slow uptake, more plateaued out at this point, but we had, we had seen um, a slight increase when we last looked at this data in 2016 um, in the average age um, of people giving birth, um, right? So something to kind of think about um, in that regard, right? Harding loves data. All right, so doo -doo -doo -doo, we are now progressing to middle adulthood. Here we are. We have made it to middle adulthood stage seven. So we've gone through all of these. Is my world going to support me? Can I do it? Should I do it? Am I good enough at doing it? Who in the holy heck am I? Do I want to spend my life with someone? Who do I want to spend my life with? What does the rest of my future look like? So now we are in adulthood. Um, and the focus kind of shifts a little bit. Yes, it is still on you, but it's not on figuring out you. It's determining what can I do that will make a lasting impact, right? It is the realization that I am not going to be here forever. Um, what things can I do in my life that are going to matter once I am gone, okay? The goal here is care, right? I am caring for my children, right? I am keeping them alive. I am hoping that I am supporting my children while they go through stages one through four of their own personal social development while I'm in stage seven, right? 
It is about being productive and caring about my job um, and dedicating that and doing something that matters. It is about having a regard for other people and what will last when I'm gone, right? I start to think about um, some of these things. To be, right, to positively progress through this stage, right, is to, to know that what I'm doing right now is going to leave a positive legacy. And if I feel like the actions that I'm taking right now they matter. Then, right, I'm doing pretty good in this stage. And I will say, your teacher, she does pretty good in this stage. I picked the perfect career for, you, for me. For me, I love it. Um, I try really hard to do what I need to do in this profession to leave a positive impact. I try really hard to be a mom. Um, I will tell you that 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 sometimes, right, there's a little bit of tension between trying to be a good mom and trying to be a good teacher. Um, but in the long, I do my best and I do pause. I feel like when I'm, when I'm, when I'm old, I'm going to feel like I've, I've done something that matters. Um, and that will last. I will tell you that at this stage, and I talked about midlife crisis, um, when we talked about adolescence, right? This is the stage at which when a person goes, Ooh, I don't know if what I'm doing right now is actually going to matter that someone may start to struggle with that midlife crisis, particularly at the end of middle adulthood, when your kids don't need you quite as much, right? And this is, this is kind of the stage that I'm entering now. Normally, this stage is starting around 40, 45, and I'm 42. So here I am, right? My baby is eight. He doesn't need me quite as much, right? My 18-year-old, he's gone to college. He, he's, he, he occasionally sends me a text message. Right. And then my almost 14 year old. Yes, she needs me. But the things she needs me to do for her are quite less than they were before. OK, so um, that's kind of what this stage is about. It's am I going to leave a legacy? And if I feel good about that, then I successfully progress. If I don't feel good about that, I might kind of revert back to stage four and start asking who I am, particularly as my kids get older and they don't need me as much. OK. All right. So. Here we are in adulthood. Um, I'm going to leave a specific note in Schoology to let you know if you should continue watching at this point. But as I'm recording this video, I don't know how far I'm going to get in second period and fourth period, and I like to keep all of you the same. So feel free to keep watching, but look at the note in Schoology that tells you if you need this stuff on old age or not. Okay. Um, with that, I'm going to stop here and create a new video um, just in case you don't need to watch it. All right. Maybe one more video left. Maybe not.